By executing Order 66, Farron Barr is able to escape with his remaining disciple Verla as the Inquisitors are distracted by clones that have suddenly turned on them. They force Jump over the fight and Barr makes his way to a confrontation with Vader. The Inquisitors fight for their lives and manage to punch a hole through the clones but as they make a break for it, one betrays the other and leaves them for dead. Elsewhere, Vader finds where King Leechar is being kept and demolishes the guards, making his way inside. The King shoots but Vader easily deflects, subduing the King. He informs Tarkin that he has him as Tarkin Tarkin commences a bombardment of the cities. The king is horrified, saying the Empire will not get away with it, which is when Farron Barr shows up. Barr and Vader fight viciously as the bombardment continues. While they do, Barr reveals that it was he who killed the Imperial Ambassador, forcing both sides into a bloody conflict and sparking the first embers of a rebellion as he sees it. The remaining Mon Cala forces launch their massive trading ships into space in an attempt to flee the ruined system, and even though Farron Barr dies at Vader's hand, he saw these events as a victory over the Sith.